I was searching around eBay and bought a MacBook Pro mid-2010 version. I paid $50 for the laptop, and the seller claimed this laptop was not functional due to having hard drive issues when booting it up. Based off the appearance, this laptop has been through quite a bit of physical damage. The right side of the glass panel was cracked, and the laptop does not power on but the charging cable disconnected even after it was plugged in for hours. Let's assume the battery is dead. By connecting the charging cable, I was able to power up the laptop with an Apple startup chime, but it does not show the Apple logo. This is another form of gray screen of death. Then this folder icon with a question mark showed up flashing. This means the computer was not able to detect the hard drive. Now let's boot up the startup manager by holding down the option key as we press the power button. As we can see here, the laptop does not show any signs of detecting the hard drive. It only shows a mouse cursor. Let's test out the laptop's I.O. ports to see if it detects my bootable macOS install drive. I boot to the startup manager again, and sure enough, it did detect my installation drive. And there's the Apple logo, which we can assume this laptop's I.O. ports functions normally. Let's check the disk utility to see if there's any signs of detecting a hard drive. Unfortunately, it also doesn't show any signs of detecting the hard drive from this laptop. We can conclude from here, it is not a software issue. Now, I want to do one final test to see if it boots up to a Mac OS externally from a USB drive. And sure enough, it did. This tells me the computer still functions. Here are the specifications for this laptop. These were considered decent back in 2010. This alone tells me this MacBook Pro works. However, as I suspected before, the laptop does not charge and the battery is dead. I will get that replaced last. For now, I must dig into the hard drive part of the issue. I open up the back cover and immediately noticed on how decently clean it is for a 10 years old laptop. The owner probably does this laptop regularly. Interesting. As we can see here, the hard drive is located at the bottom left corner here. It is connected by a thin ribbon cable with a SATA connector. I will remove the hard drive by first removing two screws that holds the hard drive bracket in place. Then disconnect the cable from the logic board. Remove the hard drive by pulling the plastic fin. Then disconnect the SATA connector. This is a Hitachi 250GB mechanical hard drive that spins at 5400 RPM. Then carefully remove the remaining bracket by slowly pulling it towards the optical drive's direction. Then remove the LED hard drive status ribbon cable. Slowly peel off the cable. Remove the screws that holds the cable in place. Then gently remove the IR sensor. I bought a replacement aftermarket cable and it should fit this model of the laptop. Then I reverse the process by sticking the new IR sensor back into place and gently apply pressure. Gently peel just enough to stick. 
Then push the hard drive bracket back into place and secure it with screws. Use the peel motion and align the cable to place. This will ensure little contaminants or dust sticking onto the sticky side of the cable. Now, I would like to retire the old mechanical hard drive and upgrade it to a Samsung 250GB SSD to ensure fast read and write speeds at 520 megabits per second and 550 megabits per second. Simply reuse the old screws that secure the mechanical hard drives into the new SSD. Then gently connect the SATA connector to the SSD. As these cables are quite thin, it is good practice to be cautious when handling them. Place the SSD back into place and secure it with a the bracket. Then screw the bracket back into place. Upon further inspecting this old SATA ribbon cable, and it is no wonder why it did not detect the hard drive at all since it was appeared to be cut and hid under electrical tape. Interesting. Now secure the ribbon cable with proper electrical tape, then make sure the SSD is connected back into the logic board. Place the back cover back into place and secured with screws. Then I boot to startup manager and it recognized the SSD. This is a good sign and it shows the logic board is working fine and recognizing the SSD. Now let's install macOS Lion into this laptop. But first, let's go on this utility and it immediately shows the detection of a new install SSD. We are going to format it to Mac OS Extended and this is the standard for installing Mac OS. Then we click on installing Mac OS Lion. Then click on a drive that we just formatted and install the OS to it. Now as the installation takes place, you should sit back and relax. You will be greeted with setting up user accounts and connecting it to Wi-Fi later. I think that was not necessary to show. So I went ahead and did what's necessary and skip over to the desktop view. And finally, let's go ahead and boot up the MacBook Pro again, and here it is, a fully working MacBook Pro mid-2010 version upgraded with 250GB SSD. I will apply new thermal paste and replace the battery next time. This video is just to show you how to fix the hard drive detection issue, and a possibility of fixing a broken $50 MacBook Pro. Thanks for watching, please like, share, and subscribe for more.